morning hello and welcome to disney cruise line embarkation day Woo! um if you are tuning in as the start or like this is like one of your first vlogs hello i'm adam hatton i do disney vlogs and stuff and i'm going on a cruise i hope you like the vlogs um you might be looking at this plastic bag that i'm currently leaning on well i have a cold compress on my neck if you watched last week's vlog you'll know that i pulled my neck while sleeping or something and I couldn't even go out into the parks yesterday because um, I'm staying in Disney World, I'm staying at Caribbean Beach. So yesterday was a bit of a write-off but I'm hoping, it's, it's definitely better than yesterday, I'm just hoping that by the end of today it's kind of loosened up a bit and isn't as painful as it currently is. Hey. Um, the Lugged Bell Services, they just came to pick up my cases for the cruise. They said that they start collecting them from about 8 a.m. and literally they were outside at 8.01. 8 uh, they said that they will ship them over to the ship before 10 a.m. Which means in theory they'll get there before me because my... I got like a sheet of paper through the... not through the door but like they knocked on the door about 5, 6 p.m. last night with a letter that said like leave your cases by the door, they'll be collected from 8 a.m. Um, and what was the other thing I said? Oh yeah, my the coach leaves at 12.30, I need to be there at 12.15. So, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I'm still in the room, and I can be in the room until 11am, obviously, because that's when checkout is. But I don't really want to go anywhere because of this thing. So I think I'm just going to sit and watch TV. As, as, as sad as that is, just sit and watch TV for a bit. Whilst I'm just chilling out, waiting for time to pass, uh, I'll... I'll give you a little rundown of what the cruise is. It's a seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise uh, aboard Disney Fantasy, which is one of Disney's bigger ships at the moment. I have three days at sea aboard. There is a stop at British Virgin Islands, the US Virgin Islands, and also Disney's private island Castaway Keep, which I'm very much looking forward to. I've booked a massage and also a reservation for Paolo, which is the fine dining restaurant. And apart from that, I haven't really got much planned. I'm just looking forward to chilling out. I managed to get a pretty good deal on this cruise because I booked through a guaranteed stateroom reservation, which basically means that you don't choose your uh, stateroom. Disney chooses it for you, but you save a little bit of money, but you're still guaranteed like a veranda if that's what you booked, basically. I'm currently assigned to room 5538, and I was able to check that a couple of days ago. Um, I don't really want to be on deck five because it's right, it's like the first veranda deck and whilst they have like slightly bigger verandas, I would rather be on a higher up deck, like close to commanders and stuff like that. So when I'm checking in, I'm going to do my best to see if they can move that around a bit. Alright, we just checked in with the lovely Barb, which is taking us on our Disney cruise. Here we go. When boarding your cruise line bus, if you are taking the cruise line transfer, try and sit on the left hand side. That way when you're going into port, you'll be able to see the Disney Fantasy. So anyway, thanks for sailing with Disney Cruise Line. Enjoy your trip and bon voyage. There are two ways to Made it to the cruise terminal. Now to go through security and check in. Once you've been on. Hi, Hi good, morning. Hi, good morning. morning. Well, good afternoon, really. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> VIP treatment, thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go, and they also managed to move me into a different room. I had to compromise and get a navigator veranda, which is not a full veranda, uh, but it's the kind of floor I wanted because I wanted to be near like deck ten at the back, and I was deck five forward. So, walk straight ahead. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. How are you? Oh, fabulous. Thank you. There you go, Adam. Thank, Thank you very you. much. 
I'm actually going to bypass the family photo because it's just me. Boarding the ship, boarding the ship. One of the last people boarding the ship. Just me. Just you. How do you want to be introduced? It's just Adam's fine. Adam, just Adam. All right, Adam, are you ready? Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Sure. Disney Fantasy, please welcome for Adam. That's me. <laughs> that was really special. I'm, I'm crying a little bit. I'm crying a little bit. Um. Both of the cast members that were doing the introductions both stopped to like invite me onto the ship and everyone clapped and <sighs> I'm just having a moment. I'm just having a moment. I'm going to my room now. Right. I'm on the ship. The Disney Cruise Line Transfer. I've stopped crying. The Disney Cruise Line Transfer. Uh, fine. Had no qualms about it. It was about half the price of me getting an Uber here and an Uber back, but next time I might just pay the money. Just because it took, like, I had to wait so long, and obviously check, -in while, check out was at 11 a.m., so I spent a lot of time just waiting for the ship, uh, sorry, waiting for the bus. So next time I'll probably just Uber, because then you can come down here early, get on the ship early and everything. Like, I was one of the last people to get on the ship, just because that's when the uh, ship, the bus came in. Right. Nine one six four. We have a room. I just picked up the camera to say the words I'm on a Disney cruise. I'm on a Disney cruise. I uh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I've actually just, I've only I had to think like, I've completely forgotten about my neck and by saying that I remember that I've got a neck problem. <laughs> I can't believe I'm on a Disney cruise. I, I genuinely can't believe it. So, right, let's look around the stateroom. This is Deluxe Ocean View Station, uh, Deluxe Ocean View Stateroom. I'm in 9164, which is deck nine at the back of the ship, or deck nine aft, for all you ship sailors out there. Um, I was originally in 5538, which would have been deck five forward. Um, that was a deluxe family ocean view stateroom with veranda. However, basically, I think I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, I had a guaranteed veranda stateroom, and basically you get the last picks, like they assign a stateroom for you. And whilst the veranda on deck five is bigger and the room was bigger, like I probably would have been quite happy in the room. I, it's just me. I don't need the extra space. And actually I'd rather be closer to all the amenities on uh, deck 11, like cabanas, the soft drinks and all that fun stuff. So uh, I decided that I'd rather come up to a higher deck if they had the availability. What they did was, I couldn't change it before, I couldn't change it when I checked in, but I could, as soon as I checked in and had my cruise card, uh, they had a desk at the check-in, it was actually deck, uh, number 32. I could go to that and request to move, uh, and they were able to do that for me. Thankfully, there was literally one room, and it was this one, and by the looks of things, it was actually assigned to someone else, and they've moved, or they've been upgraded, because somebody else's name was out the front door, and it was a Disney Vacation Club thing, so... Um, I'm very, very happy. Let me give you a quick tour. I'll give you a more detailed tour at some point. However, I am very hungry and really want to get some food. So this is the door. And as you come in, you've got uh, two wardrobes on the side. La 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 la. Um, here is the toilet side. So on Disney Cruise Line, they actually split the bathroom into two. So two people can get ready at the same time. Not really a problem for me. There's the, oh, let me just see if I can turn the door on. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is side number two. Disney Cruise Line towels, adorable. La la la, la la la. Which opens up into this room. This is like a standard ocean view with veranda size. Nice queen size beds. Curtain for separating the room if necessary. This is a one that sleeps three, so this turns into a bed. In ones that sleep floor, a uh, bed comes down from the ceiling and we don't have that in this one. 
Vanity station, basically. Nice TV. This pulls out and rotates. And it's got a full selection of Disney movies on there. This is a Navigator's Veranda. So I actually downgraded it in, in some way. But I'm quite happy with it, actually. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't really mind, like, a Navigator's Veranda basically has a bit of a lip around it. And I don't really care about that. As long as I can come out onto the veranda and see out, I'm happy. So, yes, I'm very, very happy. I'm very much looking forward to setting sail. Um, basically, I have to, because I have moved rooms, my bags are probably gonna go to my old room. I have to see if I can find my stateroom host and let them know what my old stateroom number was and they will go and get the bags whilst I'm at dinner or something. <sighs> but yeah, let's go to Cabanas. One of the great things about deck nine and deck 10 aft, which is why I wanted to move, is you just walk up a couple flights of stairs and you're outside Cabanas. And they've got these new, uh, they might be new, hand wash things. It's time for some food. I am a happy bunny. One of the good things about Disney Cruise Line is that all your soft drinks are included. Woo! Okay, try and get it in the cup, Adam. This is a bit of a random selection, but I've got salmon, I've got crusted cod, mashed potatoes, some noodles, which now have mushrooms in, I've just realized. Gross. Cheese and veg. So I'm just descending down to uh, deck nine, straight below Cabanas, because I've got a room where I want one. Hey, um, the food was nice actually. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. And I'm also very much looking forward to basically fine dining tonight. All the food. I'm basically on it. Where am I? Yes, <laughs> I'm going the right way. As well as supplying general safety tips to follow while on board. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas. <laughs> right, so I'm currently on hold, waiting to get through to guest services. Um, because I've moved rooms, there's a chance that my bags... I'm going to wait until he's finished. So, uh, I have given guest services a call. The mandatory drill is in a few minutes. Um, after the mandatory drill, I'm probably going to go to the sail away party, which is on deck 12, I think. Um, just to, like, have the... We're sailing away. Is that the song? I don't know. We are sailing, sailing away. That's the one. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just called them to say, like, oh, these are the two bags, the descriptions, like, and they said that they're, because I didn't have the statement number printed on my luggage labels, if you've been watching this vlog series the whole way through, um, I just wanted to double check that everything kind of gets processed <laughs> because as much as I understand they're still loading the bags and stuff like that because they didn't have an original stateroom number on there it might not be as simple as they're definitely outside of my old room um then again I don't know it could be maybe they type in my reservation number and then they actually bring them here it's just there's so many ifs and buts I just wanted to make sure I get my bags um so yes I'm gonna hopefully go up to the sail away party not get a nice spot for that watch watch us head away into the ocean um, or sea. Head into the sea. I don't know, is it ocean? Is, is, is ocean the thing that covers the whole world? Or, and um, yes, and then the seas are the little things. I don't know. Geography kids, pay attention. This past week has been a bit blech, and I'm really looking forward to a week aboard Disney Cruise Line. I, I'm nearly choked up then just saying that I'm, 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 I'm on Disney Cruise Line, like, I'm like, this is what I want. This is the excitement and the energy that I want in my vlogs. Like, when I've got it, you've got it. And I think this past week in Disney World, I haven't really had it. Like, I don't know. Coming by myself, I haven't really... And, and staying at a resort that I've, A, stayed at before, and B, is very similar to all the resorts I've stayed at. I haven't necessarily had the excitement that I would normally have going to somewhere new. So I think I need to take some time away from Disney World because I've been on three trips almost consecutively apart from like literally two months apart in order to keep bringing you Disney vlogs but at the same time I don't want to lose the magic of Disney vlogs so with that being said I think I need to work out a plan but before then we've got a Disney cruise to enjoy to, uh, uh, ugh, I'm breaking down we've got a Disney cruise to enjoy just on the balcony saying goodbye to the carnival breeze which has been boarding alongside us and I'm sorry to say, it is very cold. Very cold. Hopefully, it's not that cold. It's not, uh, uh, literally, breaking down. Hopefully, it's not this cold in the Caribbean. 
because it is chilly. Once you've done a Disney cruise, you then become part of the Castaway Club. Um, so I've got some Castaway Club prizes. Well, I say prizes, like little gifts. One is a luggage tag, I think. Yep. Um, and then the other is this little satchel. That'd be nice to go out on the beach and stuff. Cute. Um, it is now coming up to the mandatory drill. If you have never been on a cruise before, basically, it's like the... Um, safety drill before you go on a flight for example where they teach you how to put on the the life jackets and where you need to go and all that fun stuff um it's not enjoyable it's it's a very boring 30 40 minutes so just prepare yourself for it the kids are going to be bored the adults are going to be bored it's not very exciting but it's a mandatory uh safety procedure so Bear that in mind when you're boarding, you're going to be bored for a few minutes when you get on your Disney cruise and before you start sailing. Just met my lovely stateroom host, Kelsia. She's going to be looking after me for the week. And now heading up to decks 11 and 12 for the sail away party. Currently walking through Cabanas and they did have a few uh, of like the pina colada drinks that you could buy. Uh, they're about $10 and you get to keep the souvenir cup, but I really don't appreciate a souvenir cup, but I always end up throwing them away or well, they end up cluttering up my cupboards, so I'm, I'm, I'm on a new cleanse of no souvenir cups. But I will get a drink. This is what I'm talking about, the free drink station. Yeah. We're just about pulling away. Thanks so much for the cruise We are your cruise team. In charge of all the family and the activities here on board. Literally the second the Sail Away show finished, it starts raining. <laughs> we are making our way out. We're just about to pass the beach. There's a lot of people that have parked their cars out here to wave goodbye. I want a Disney cruise! Look, I want a Disney cruise! The hood's up. 
because it's chilly and I'm trying to set up the Navigator app. It doesn't seem to be having fun right now and I don't know why. So I've just set up the Navigator app. I had some problems but I kind of pinpointed them. Basically, the uh, Disney Cruise Line offers a app that you can use on the ship which uses the ship Wi-Fi so you can message people and stuff. In order to have that enabled, you have to make sure that you've accepted the location um, permissions for the app. So if you've installed the app at home and then not given those permissions, the app won't work on the ship. So make sure you give those permissions when you are installing the app. Uh, then you also need to make sure that you link to the Disney Cruise Line Wi-Fi uh, and they actually give you 50 megabytes of data at the start of the cruise, like on day one. So if you haven't downloaded the app, you can actually do that whilst you're on the ship. Right, it is approximately quarter past five, which means I've got some time until uh, any activities this evening. We've got a good couple of hours to take a look around the ship, hopefully unpack. Uh, so I'm just going to have a quick stroll through the ship, show you some little clips, uh, and then hopefully by the time I get back to the room, the bag should be delivered and I should be able to start putting stuff in drawers and stuff. Now, if you've been on a cruise before, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's a very distinct smell on the cruise ship, and I think it's the carpets. I'm on the concierge level, I don't belong here. Ooh, is this where the spa is? I'll be coming here. This is the gym they have on board. Most of the fun things are on deck four. And I'm currently at the front of the ship, so I'm gonna head down to deck four. Ooh, we're swaying though. It's cold and windy. Not a good start to a cruise, but bearing in mind, it is January. In the, oh, that's cool. They've got little pictures of it being built. Cute. So deck four forward, this is the Walt Disney Theater. This is actually the upper deck, so you can go in here to sit in the higher tier, I believe. What else have we got down here? I think this is the cinema here. Buena Vista Theater. This thing's huge. The great thing about the cinemas on Disney Cruise Line is they play the films that have literally just come out in the cinema because they own. Oh, what's on today? Ant Man and the Wasp and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I'm really hoping they're going to play Mary Poppins Returns during the cruise because that's just come out in cinemas. This is shutters. This is where you can come and get your photos from your trip and stuff. So they'll store them, you just have to touch your card and pick them out. So I'm just chilling out listening to the uh, musicians in the lobby and they're really good. Playing all the Disney classics, love it. Um, I actually took a motion sickness tablet this morning. I packed a whole pack ready for this trip and they didn't come in useful when I went to the theme park because I didn't really go on any simulators or anything. But um, considering how choppy it is out there, I don't know if you can really see, let me see. You can kind of see it, like that's not a calm water, not a, not a calm water at all. And the, sh the ship's just kind of doing this, uh, which means it's probably going to be a rocky day at sea. Um, I don't normally get seasick, but I've taken the tablet just as a precautionary measure. Um, just because of how I've been with theme park rides and motion simulators recently, I don't want to chance it. Um, I've actually got the C bands in my uh, suitcase as well, so if it gets really bad, they're like bands that go on your wrist and they push into a pressure point on your wrist that stops you from necessarily feeling the motion sickness so much, or at least not getting ill. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep an eye on that one, but other than that, it's been a really, really good day. I am so happy, and I'm not going to cry again, I don't think. Captain Mickey's out there meeting people. It's quite a long line at the start of the cruise. And from my experience, the line goes down the longer you're on the cruise for. My calculations are wrong and a lot of the fun stuff is actually on deck three. So I'm kind of descending the beautiful blue staircase. We're have a little nosy. That's the Bon Voyage bar. Very apt right now. Now when you're boarding a Disney cruise, don't be surprised if the shops aren't open. And that's because when they are docked, they're not allowed to open for maritime law reasons. So uh, the shops tend to open about six on the ship. It's normally just before the first theater performance, which I think is at 6.30 or something. But like plenty of merchandise, and obviously I'll be able to show you in here a little bit later. 
This is the main entrance to the theatre, so if you come around here. That is the way in. Only Disney would have a Tiffany's on board. That is a nice Tiffany's. This is the D lounge, this is where they do bingo and stuff. Oh, the ship is a rockin' folks. We're heading down to what appears to be a place called Europa. As you pass through the piazza, there's a bar here called Ooh La La. Is this open? She is not. Oh, she is. Hi. How are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Just having a little tour. <laughs> I can imagine finding myself quite comfortable in here. There's a little cafe in here as well. I'm assuming this is where they put like food out in the evening for the adults. The adults like food. This is so different to the dream. I thought they were going to be like light from light, but they're not. The tube. Let's have a wee look in here, shall we? Ooh. Let's not fall over, Adam. It's just the start of the cruise. And they're playing the Beatles. How apt. This is cool. These lifts are so beautiful. And they're currently playing Frozen. I'm so happy in so many Get ways. Home. I'm fine, I'm normal. I put one of my business cards in here because I don't like putting the room key in. Because, oh my, well, one bag has arrived. Ooh. Now that we are sailing, let's have a look at what the balcony looks like. Oh, that's, that's a breeze. Yeah, this is this is this is a little bit choppy, a little bit choppy. There's a trick to these doors, just so you know. It's a slide and a turn, and that turn does like a little seal of it, so like the air and stuff. Because when you open those and then open one of those cabin doors, they slam shut. Bear with, bear with the doors. <laughs> just a spot of housekeeping whilst we're getting underway with the Disney Cruise Line vlog series. Ah. Um, I have. Have I mentioned? I might have already mentioned. I've got some friends on board. I'll be seeing them at various points through the cruise, uh, but they won't necessarily want to be included in the vlogs, um, or they can't necessarily be included in the vlogs for privacy or security reasons. Um, if that's the case, just bear with me. I'm gonna include you as much as I possibly can and uh, show you as much of my trip as I possibly can. Uh, but if for any reason I've cut something out or like there seems to be a gap or I'm talking to someone off camera Just just know that that's what that is. Okay um, Not everyone necessarily wants to be uh, put out there as much as these vlogs can sometimes do so I hope you can appreciate that. I hope you can be respectful of, of their decisions to not be in the vlog uh, But I'm very excited um, I've got one case so far. I'm hoping the second case turns up um I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to unpack that bag, I think. I've got the main stuff. The big case has the main stuff. The little case has just like bits and bobs, like a pirate costume and stuff. So I, I know that I'm covered with all the things I definitely need for this trip, which is ace. So when you switch on your stateroom TV, this is what it looks like. And if you go over here to the complimentary video on demand, hello, you have 
a whole bunch of Disney movies and TV shows and Walt Disney Company specials to enjoy! Ah, this is what I live for. I'm watching Cinderella! Cinderella! This might be interesting. Ta-da! So the other day before we set... Oh, I've got someone at the door. One second. Adam! Lovely Calcia just popped by. Case number two. Sorted. She's really lovely. I really like her. Um, I can tell we're going to be good friends over the course of this cruise. Um, she's already made an impression. I love her. What was I telling you about before she knocked on the door? Uh, water. Right, so... A couple days ago I went to Publix and got uh, some little bits, like I bought some chocolates and stuff uh, for friends and I also got some bottles of water. Now, the reason I got the bottles of water, I was watching somebody else's Disney Cruise Line vlog and they were saying that they didn't like the taste of the water. They said most people will find it absolutely fine, that she, but she didn't like it. So, I don't think I'm a picky water drinker. Um, and I tasted it, and yes, I could drink it for the duration of the cruise. However, I am glad I did bring these bottles because I would rather have a bottle of water per day. These are litre bottles, so that way I can keep track of how much I'm drinking because going to the Caribbean, you should be drinking plenty of water, and I don't drink enough water. Hence, when, like, when I have breakouts, it's because I haven't been drinking enough water. So, I, at least this way, I can make sure I drink enough and it actually tastes a little bit nicer than what the taps have. But it's not bad. But it's not great. It's better than Magic Kingdom's Florida water. Just saying. I gave you a little tour earlier, but I'll give you a little bit more of an in-depth tour. Um, so you have this sofa area, uh, which it does turn into a bed. Um, in here you also have a trunk that you can uh, open and pop some bits in. Uh, there are three drawers on the main cupboard. You've got a hairdryer in here. A lot of people can never find the hairdryer, so if you don't open the drawers, you won't find it. It's in there. Um, they do have this thing called the Wave Phones, and basically, if you haven't got like a smartphone, you can take those phones out around the ship and call your family. Um, bear in mind, they are very expensive to replace, so don't lose them. Uh, there's another side cupboard here, large mirror, TV. Couple of shelves here, which I'm probably gonna put my toiletries and stuff in. This is the fridge to give you an idea of the size. So those are the six one litre bottles. They fit in there pretty nicely and I can just about close the door. Plus there's another tray up there and some space in the door as well if I can get some cans of stuff or anything like that. Uh, underneath the bed, you have a nice bit of space to put your luggage. So as soon as I've unpacked, I'll be able to put my cases away away. Uh, another three drawers on this side, ice bucket if you need it. Uh, another space up here in the wardrobes. In the left hand side one, some more drawer space, which would be handy. And on this one, I do believe there's a safe in here somewhere. Yep, safe in there. Plus a laundry bag if you need any of those. And there's also some life jackets as well. Digital clock on the side. There is a little side lamp here for you, by the way. Love this pattern. Uh, some little side drawers as well, if you need some things easily accessible. Uh, phone. There is a main light that also has a switch on this side. Uh, and I also forgot to show you that in this vanity area they have a little drawer in here which has a couple of postcards. Cute. And some Disney Cruise Line stationery. We like Disney Cruise Line stationery. Adam, make sure you take that out so you can take it with you. And a pen! Ooh, a pen. Another really great tip I got from somebody else's vlog. Um, if I can remember... I watched a lot of Disney Cruise Line vlogs before I came out here. If I can uh, remember whose Disney Cruise Line vlog it was, I will link it below. Um, bring a water bottle or like a, a drinks canister. Uh, the cups they give you for the fountain beverages at the top, they're not big and they don't have lids or anything. So if you can bring your own cup, obviously just like get one of the plastic cups, pour it in here, you can stick this in the fridge and actually this keeps things at a temperature very very well like uh it's called a sh sho i think yeah looks like it but basically if you put something in here at a certain temperature it keeps it now i'm gonna have to do this whole um advertising standards authority thing no i was not sponsored however 
I was gifted this. This is not a paid promotion, but I would like to let you know that I was gifted this by the company. I would like to be as transparent and fluid as possible. This is what creators are going to have to do now. I didn't pay for this! <laughs> I got it for free, okay? I'm not being paid, but I got it for free! Now they do have some little rooms based around the ship where you can actually um, wash and iron clothes or they alternately have a laundry service. Um, I'm half tempted to actually get my shirt pressed because it's a very nice white shirt and I am terrible at ironing, literally terrible. Um, I normally put more creases in than I do take out. So for me to get my shirt ironed is $3.50. Yes, it's more expensive than doing it myself, but at the same time, I don't mind paying $3.50 if I get my shirt ironed properly for formal night and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. And then actually to have it washed is $3. Oh, no, wait, that's dry cleaning. So, it, so it's $3. Oh, okay. Hmm. 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 It's coming up to dinner time. Friend A has been able to join me. Friend A, wave. No, you need to wave it in the camera, honey. But, but there you go. Friend A is present. Um, one thing I've just found in the drawer, which I'm very excited about, they provide a heat mat for all your heating utensils. I say utensils, I mean straighteners. But I'm uh, basically, I've sent off my shirts to be washed because they got rather smelly in my suitcase and they needed to be ironed anyway because, you know. Um, I went all the way down to forward to go and iron something for friend A, but um, uh, when I got back, the uh, uh, Calcia was my <sighs> room host, was like, there's literally one downstairs. So now I know that, which is handy for later in the cruise. But this is my combo. I like to think of this as my Mary Poppins blazer, white t-shirt and uh, just the jeans that I was wearing today. This is like casual tonight. And then I think it's, is it formal tomorrow? Yep. <sighs> so hopefully my shirts will be back before then. If not, oh, I didn't think about that. Hmm, fun. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I'm very excited about food. Tonight I'm dining at Royal Table with Friend Day. What? Royal, Royal Court. What's it called? Royal Court. Is it Royal Court in the dream? I'm in, I'm in love with this hallway. It's very different from the dream. I think this is more regal than the dream. Less colorful, but more regal. I can never get enough of the chandeliers on Disney Cruise Line. Just so pretty. So when going into dinner, uh, you'll be given some hand wipes to wipe your hands and that's to make sure that everyone stays nice and healthy on the ship. Word to the wise, if you don't like lines, don't come at 8.15, come at like 8.20, 8.25, something like that. It's so beautiful. The napkin's a little beast jacket. It's so cute. Oh, I've just ruined it. Oh well. I am so excited for food. All the food. I have I stuffed myself today? I said I was going to. I didn't. Um, I just I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm just gonna have everything. Liquor potato soup. Liquor potato soup. Now the great thing about Disney Cruise Line is because you've prepaid for your food, you can have as much as you want. So if you want two appetizers, two soups, and three mains. Treat yourself. I mean, that's way too much food. Don't do that. Um, but uh, there's a duck confit and a breaded deep fried brie, and I couldn't choose between the two. And because I want to try them both, and the menus don't stay the same, I'm actually going to get both and treat myself. Uh, then I'm going to have the leek potato soup followed by a fillet steak, and that's included in the price. I love that. It's also good to know they have a couple of vegetarian options and some light and note offerings as well. Thank you very much. Ooh. I've got leek and potato soup and friend A has French onion soup. Ooh. I got the filet medium well and friend A got the filet rare, medium rare. Uh, we've also been given a lamb shank. Rack of lamb. 
Friend A is telling me what the things are because Adam doesn't pay attention. Steak was delicious. Uh, I've got a souffle on the way. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I've got a cup of coffee and the, the little coaster. Coaster? For the coaster? Yeah. Saucer. Saucer. Has uh, little Cinderella carriages on it. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> Not that fancy, but still, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, one little pro tip that I got from uh, another Disney Cruise Line vlogger. Uh, wear a watch. I don't, I'm not a watch person myself, but when you're on the ship, they don't actually have clocks around, evidently because the ship goes through different time zones and stuff like that. So, um, unless you want to keep checking your phone all the time, a watch can come in quite handy. It's, <laughs> I keep looking at my wrist now, and it's quite nice to see the time instead of a magic band thinking like, oh, it's just my magic band, it's not the time. I'm very tired. Let's have a look at turn down service, cause we love the turn down service. Bloop. Oh, she's got a swan. Is that a swan? I don't know what that is. A bird? A penguin? Who are you? What are you? Is that a, what is it? What is that? Today has been so wonderful. Catching up with friend day. <laughs> Embarkation day, um, food, lots of food. <laughs> and my neck is not as bad as it was this morning. Luckily I can move and walk about, which is very helpful. But hopefully tomorrow morning it's even better than that. We've got a day at sea tomorrow. I have literally no plan friend day is tucking, tucking herself into my bed. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I see you. I'll see you. Anyway, it's going to be another fun day aboard Disney Cruise Line. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And I will, oh, before I go, Dream Guide, an unofficial guide to Walt Disney World, a book by Adam Hatton, is now back in stock. If you would like to purchase this, you can find it in the link below. Plug. Bye.